I reckon there's uh, two kind of motorcycle riders in this world. Those who've had a flat tyre and those who are going to get a flat tyre. Actually, there's a third type as well. Those guys that have had flat tyres and are going to get more. And I think that probably 90% of us are in that third category. Actually, there is also a fourth category. Those guys that don't even know what flat tyres are, the ones that use mooses and stuff like that. But for the rest of us, we need to be prepared for that eventual flat tyre because it is only a matter of time. Now, aside from all the usual stuff that we use to repair a, a flat tyre, whether it's tyre plugs, uh, a, a tube patch, a new tube, whatever, plus the tools that you use to remove the wheel and do all that stuff, obviously you also need something to reinflate the tyre. Up until now, I've been relying on a little hand pump here. Thankfully, I haven't needed it a lot. It's mostly been used on other people's bikes and mostly on enduro bikes. Now, they do have a lot smaller of a tyre. Using something like this on a, an adventure bike rear tyre, uh, in the middle of the day when it's hot, you've just changed the tube. The last thing you want to be doing is sitting there pumping for however long it takes. I haven't actually tried it on one of these but I can imagine a, a tiny little pump like this is gonna it's gonna take a long time and uh, yeah it's not gonna be a lot of fun obviously there are a fair few other options I've had a mini compressor on my little shopping list to get for quite a long time but I've never really gotten around to it so it was a great stroke of fortune that Airmodo got in contact with me and asked if I wanted to check out one of their uh, mini compressors now to be honest I initially was going to get uh, just a compressor that runs off the bike battery so one that plugs into your cigarette lighter plug or an SAE plug or whatever it may be. But when you can get a mini air compressor that's self-contained with its own power supply and everything in around about the same size and weight as, you know, a unit that you'll power off the bike, then why not? So uh, I said, sure, we'll check out the, uh, the air motor and see how it goes. So this little bad boy is rated up to 120 PSI, which is fairly impressive. as a built-in 2000 milliamp hour battery. Now they rate it for up to 40 minutes of use per charge. What I actually want to test with it is how many times I can pump up my tyre with it. I've seen a lot of reviews on these sort of pumps and people show how long it takes to pump up a tyre. Uh, and that's all well and good. That's, you know, it's handy to know. But um, I'm also keen to know uh, how many times it can be used. So if you go out on a trip and you happen to get two flat tyres in one trip, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. But if it does can this handle it i'm sure it can but uh, i want to find out so i'll pump up and let down this tire a few times and we'll see how many times it can do it i guess the last time i'm going to be resorted to using this because once it runs out of battery that's it uh, it does have a usb-c port here where you can recharge it obviously um, and it has a flashlight a little led light on the top as well so you get all the usual attachments with this guy the standard valve the schrader type valve uh, is the is the main one and there's also an attachment for Presta valves and it comes with a little needle for, for balls and that sort of thing. Now one cool feature of these units is you can have preset PSI values or whatever and it'll save that so basically you set it to whatever PSI you want, hook it up, turn it on and it'll stop automatically when it gets to the rated uh, pressure. So we'll go ahead and try it out. Uh, basically you've got a power button in the middle there, we just hold that down until it powers up. It does have a really clear and easy to read display on it, but it's a little bit hard in this sort of bright light, but I can make out what it says. So we can cycle through the different measuring uh, units, PSI, bar, all that stuff by pressing that top button. And it has, I think, four different presets. So you've got car, bike, bicycle, and sports gear like balls and stuff like that. And you cycle through those by pressing the bottom button there. And you can set each one of those to a different a certain PSI and it'll save each one so that's pretty handy so I have the motorbike one set to 26 PSI I have pulled the valve on uh, on the Tenere's rear tire as you can see here it's actually popped the bead off one side of the rim so um, we'll see how it goes with that should be fine so essentially all we need to do there's a little button on the bottom there that you can push which pops out the uh, the stem so you can remove it from the body then we simply screw it into the top of the unit there. It all feels like very uh, you know, good quality stuff that it's made out of. Nice swivel Schrader valve attachment there. 
All right, so I've got the uh, I've got the timer ready to go. I'm gonna hit the power button. Let's see how long it takes. Now I'm not sure where it sucks the air in from, but you probably want to keep all these vents out of the dirt anyway. And it'll show you the uh, pressure as it goes up at the top of the screen there. All right, so as you can probably tell, it's quite loud as these things are. Anyway, we're up to almost nine minutes. Almost nine minutes to get the 26 PSI. There we go. So yeah, almost spot on nine minutes to get from zero to 26 PSI. Uh, that's on a 140 AD18 tire on the T7. It's not enough pressure to pop the bead back on the rim, but um, being that the tire and the bead's all dry and everything, it's probably gonna need a fair bit more pressure. But you know, to be fair, it'd probably take me longer than nine minutes with the hand pump to get that thing up to 26 PSI. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is let it down again. We'll go again. I think based on that nine minute run time, we should easily get four, four pumps of that tire up to 26 PSI from nothing. With that 40 minute rated run time, that's 10 minutes per pump. Should be right. Anyway, I won't, uh, I won't bother timing the rest of the runs. Um, I'll just let it down, pump it up, let it down, pump it up, and uh, we'll see see how many times we can do it. Because uh, you know, sometimes you know, even even if you don't get two flats on a ride, sometimes you you patch your tube and you put it back in and pump it up, and you find that it's still leaking, and you've got to do it again. Things don't always go to plan. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Also, guys, uh, I didn't mention it has a pressure release button on the side here. So if you go a little bit too high, you can let it down with that little button on the side there. Or if you're in a bit more of a hurry, you take the valve out and hopefully you don't lose it. I would be assuming that this thing has some kind of overheating protection in it too, so it may have to have a rest now and then. And it does have a battery indicator here. I'm not sure. Looks like it's got bars on it, but I'd say it just goes red when it's starting to get low. All right, let's go again. Okay, so we've just finished uh, pump number two. Still showing green on the uh, battery meter there. Probably should check the accuracy of the gauge. So it should be around about 26 PSI. It's reading 24.8. So I don't know how accurate this thing is either. Do you know, uh, that's, that's pretty close. All right, go for number three. I reckon on the fourth go, I'm gonna try and pump it up uh, hard enough to pop the uh, the bead back on the rim if there's enough battery left, because, uh, yeah, I don't wanna have to do that by hand. All right, so this beastly little unit has just pumped this tire up to 26 PSI from zero three times without breaking a sweat. Uh, the battery indicator has just gone orange but you know it's it's hot out here it's probably about 30 degrees today there's bugger all breeze down here um, it's half in the sun i'm sweating balls um, it's just done that three times in a row and it's not even it's warm but it's it hasn't given any overheating errors or anything like that you know before i possibly flatten the battery on this last go i'll just show you guys um, if you want to turn the led on the top when the unit's powered on just hit that top button and hold it down and that brings on the uh, LED light if you need to see where your valve stem is in the dark or whatever and same again to turn it off so yeah all right I've just noticed that the uh, indicator's gone red now but um we'll let it down one more time and uh, pump her up one more time see if we can get it up to 40 psi or at least enough to pop that bead back on now I do have faith in the little air moto but Something tells me I might be breaking out the hand pump for this last one, considering it's gone red. And I do need to get that bead back on, preferably before I ride home. So here, we'll see how we go. Now, now, well there you go guys. So he's pumped that big tire up to 26 PSI four times, seemingly without breaking a sweat. I've got to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. It, you know, for a self-contained, self-powered pocket compressor, that's, that's pretty damn good. So, yeah, the little, uh, little battery indicator is still red. 
I'll crank the setting up to 38 PSI, see if um, that'll do it. Usually I find that these tyres will pop under the bead before for EPSI, so we'll see how we go. You can see there the bead's not on at the bottom of, of the tyre there. Go you good thing, you can do it. All right, the bead just popped, and we are at 31 PSI. That little pump's still going, the little pump that could, eh? What a beast. What do you reckon we keep going to 38, see if she'll make it? Why not? All right, so she just died. I think she got to about 34 PSI, 33.5 we got to. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna try this air release valve. Take it back down to 26. So yeah, it shows in 0.5 PSI increments. There we go, 26. And call that done. So what an absolute little beast of a unit. These come with a little carry pouch here. I would have kind of liked to see some kind of hard case. Maybe even something waterproof would be good for on the bike. But, uh, you know, for the price point, yeah, you can't expect too much. Speaking of price point, I think they're perpetually on sale for about 79 Australian dollars, plus a, a fairly reasonable shipping fee. So, you know, if you're interested in one, check out uh, getairmoto.com. I'll put the link in the description and up on the screen here. Now, the $10,000 question is, do you replace the trusty little hand pump with this or carry both? I do trust technology, but... You know, I think I'm going to bring this with me as well. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It weighs nothing. It's a really good fail safe. You know, if, if this happens to get wet somehow or get smashed in a pannier or whatever, you know, yeah, you don't want to be stuck somewhere without some way of pumping up your tires, whether it's a compressed CO2 cartridge or, you know, a little hand pump, whatever. But, you know, having this is going to be a lot better than just having this, I think, um, for a lot of a lot of occasions when you don't feel like pumping up a tyre. Now I did weigh this uh, as it is without the extra attachments with just the main Schrader valve attachment. You're looking at about 396 grams so just under 400 grams which is not too bad. So yeah she's dead flat now guys. Um, I'm going to put it on the charger uh, when I get home on a quick charge port through the USB-C. Um, I'll put up on the screen here how long it takes to charge uh, from dead flat. Now guys I'm not trying to sell you this pump i don't get anything if you go and buy one um, i've just been asked to review it they did supply it to me for free i'm just sharing my experience so far with it um, i definitely know that i'm going to be taking it on the bike with me from now on uh, along with the little trusty hand pump of course as i said i'm pretty impressed with the stamina of the little guy and the fact that it didn't overheat or anything out here in this hot out here so you guys if you're after a, a little pocket compressor definitely worth a look uh, i can't see anything wrong with it yeah, um, if I can find any extra discount coupon codes for this, I'll put them in the video description. Um, so you might be able to get a little bit extra money off. So there you go, guys, the Air Moto Mini Compressor. Check it out at getairmoto.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.